Hello everybody and how are you guys? So I hope um, you are doing great right now and again uh, just a gentle reminder please be safe and I, uh, I know um, be mindful for the different protocols sa ato ang situation karon kay medyo you, you know the the covid cases is increasing okay so uh tuloy tuloy pa rin tayo our topic for this chapter would be the five key principles of good website usability or not just when creating a good website but of also when you create an application okay so um, we are now in the chapter 10. So this is the final chapter for the HSCI uh, human computer interaction. Okay, so let's move um, into the next slide we have wait. Okay, so our topics, again, the five key principles of good website usability. And we were going to discuss the availability and accessibility, the clarity, the learnability, the credibility, and relevancy. So, um, credits to the author, Sabina Edler, um, of having this really great content. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so what is usability? Usability means user-centered design. Both, uh, both the design and development process are focused around the prospective user to make sure their goals, mental models, and requirements are met to build products that are efficient and easy to use. So it's very important that you should know these different principles in order for you to have a really great HCI design, okay? So again, when we say usability, it means user-centered design. Okay, you must know what are your goals, why you have the kind of design. I think I can move this in here. Okay, in order for you to build products that are efficient to, efficient and easy to use. Okay, next. Okay, first we have the availability and accessibility. Okay, let's bring this back here, I think. So uh, let's start with the basic yet central aspect of usability, the availability and accessibility of your site or of your application. So if people try to access of your website or your application and it doesn't work for whatever reason, your website becomes worthless or your application becomes worthless. Okay, imagine you have this really great design, really great application, but when the user access it, then nag down siya. Or di ba? On say mong ma-feel. Uh, same as what you are experiencing sa other na mga applications. Di ba? You, you feel frustrated and you feel like you don't like the application, kay na down siya, something like that. So not only will users become frustrated, but you also lose out on uh, new customers and revenue every time your site is unavailable so imagine your application is all about an e-commerce now an e-commerce you you sell online but then one day now na na down siya like one day rato siya pero sayang kayo ang imo ang sales na umta okay and of course you lose customers and driven you kung mag down ang imo ang application so it's very important nga always Okay, so these are the different um, basic availability and accessibility server uptime. Okay, so the server uptime, it's very important to ensure your visitors don't get into error trying to load your application or trying to load your site. So invest in a good hosting. Invest in a good hosting. Um, oh, I think. Um, yes, let me correct this one. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry kung ana. Okay, invest in a good hosting. We never cut corners here. Get a good web host that you can depend on. So when you are um, putting your application into live system, um, you should have a really great na mga hosting services. But don't worry, kasi dagan kayo uh, different good 
hosting providers that you can look into and then check if asa ang imong need and asa ang mas better anak nila okay and there are a lot of uh, hosting serv uh, web hosting services and then na uh, cheaper up with anyang prices okay so it's to ensure that your visitors don't get an error trying to load your application next broken links so it's very important that your application does not have any broken links because imagine if ako ang user and then i try to access something and then um i try to access some link but click na ko error day will addition exist so double check that there are no dead links on your sac or application so is a tools is a tools like ahrefs and screaming frog will crawl your site for you and find all the broken links okay so you can use this tools um install on as mga tools ahrefs and screaming frog then that tool will gonna find the link ng mga broken sa imuang application. So, after finding this broken link, ang imong button is, of course, to fix it sa imong codes. Imo na siyang tanggalo ng mga broken links. Next, mobile responsiveness. Okay, so as of the moment, as, as you may have noticed, everyone, no? A lot of us is now using cell phones, smartphones, mobile devices. So, it's very important that your application must be um, Mobile responsive must be view viewable say muang phone. Okay, so make sure your site can handle different screen sizes and slow connections. Google has also moved to a mobile first index, which means they index the mobile versions of the site. So a great mobile site will help you get better search result. Okay, para magamit sa ng imong app kay labi na ang uban, not all of us has you know laptops desktops computers a lot of us is using only mobile so it's very important that your application is a mobile friendly mobile responsive i hope you guys can still hear my voice clearly because it's raining so hard in here but yeah i hope na badunggan gyapon ko okay so that's one the accessibility and um, availability next we have the clarity of course uh, it's self-explanatory clarity no claro diba? um, you can say the core of usability is clarity so if you distract or confuse your visitors they will neither need more time to find what they came for or they might forget their initial goal altogether so either way, they will not experience your website as a user-friendly and chances that are uh, they live dissatisfied and with no intention of coming back. So visitors come to your site with a certain goals in mind. It is your job to help them reach these goals as quickly as possible. So if you can manage to do that, your visitors will be pleased and you have laid the groundwork for positive experience so dapat claro no dapat um if i am the user if i'm going to go to the dashboard makita na ako ako mga kailangan nga buhaton okay okay for example i have this online application no um an e-commerce application sorry guys so again ulan so uh let me post this one Okay, so naginayinay na ang ulan, I think uh, we can continue now. So, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so clarity. So, a clear and usable design can be achieved through, first, simplicity. Okay, it must be simple as possible. Focus on what's important. If you don't distract your visitors, they will be more likely to do what you want them to do. And then familiarity so stick to what people already know there is nothing wrong with looking at the other sites for inspiration okay that's why i'm i'm telling you to um find some other applications out there and make it as an inspiration para tadangin ang website and next is consistency don't get cute okay so create 
a consistent experience across your entire website to keep your visitors mind at ease. Okay? So, kusang na po kayong ulan. But continue na ta kay para mauman na ta. Okay? Okay. So, additional na ano, uh, in order for you to achieve usable design is guidance. Take your visitors by the hand. Don't expect your visitors to explore your site all on their own. Instead, guide them through your site and show them what you have to offer. And direct feedback. So feedback is essential to any interaction. The moment people interact with your site, make sure to offer an indication of success or failure of their action. So especially when the user entered an invalid credential, sa pag-login or sign up, wrong ang email or the email already exists. So it's very important nga na ay mga um, feedbacks. Okay? And then good information architecture. So understand your visitors' mental models and how they would expect you to structure the content of your application. Ayun. So it's just that. So that's clarity. Dapat claro. Okay? Let's move on to the third one. We have learnability. Okay, ayun. So, easy na kayong mga terms, no? And self-explanatory naman. Okay? So, when we say learnability, um, it should be your goal to design intuitive interfaces, interfaces that don't require instructions or even a long process of trial and error to figure them out. So, okay, to end the design is to make sure, make use of what people already know or create something new that is easy to learn. Okay? So, dapat dililibog, no? dapat masabdan na na, na, na ako kung ako magamit. No? Uh, as, as what you have observed, karun gani, even mga gagmay ng mga bata, di ba? Uh, Kakabalo na sila gamit ng mga different applications. Basta, um, maayo lang sa pagkabuhat. So, ayop na maupo na inyong button. Okay? Next. Okay. So, by now, people are familiar with a lot of design concepts used on, used on the web or in a, or in a mobile. So, by using these concepts consistently, you make your visitors' expectations. So, this way, you help them reach their goal more quickly. So, as human beings, we like patterns and recognitions which is why we are better at handling familiar situations rather than unfamiliar ones. Uh, let me check kung na record ni oh, Okay, it's recording. So if you use new concepts in your design, make sure to use them cons consistently and give people a hand during the initial learning phase. So for example, you can offer additional information or instructions the first time they use your site or product. Keep it simple and visual to help people remember new concept. If you can remember, katong pagamit niyo sa Figma, di ba? Uh, as you open it, medyo libog siya. So, there is a tutorial, no? There is a tutorial kung unsa on siya pagamit. So, if your visitors need o ginana nga quick tutorials, nga kanisya diri is the toolbars, kanisya diri is the menus, muna yung magamit, then mas maayo kung naapod na siya yung nana. Kana lang kung complicated kayo ang yung muang website. Pero, Ibig yung application, pero sa ako pang gingon, um, mas nice kung simple. Diba? Kato, ganito itong ipang discuss na clarity. Ito. Okay? Then, learnability. Okay? Let's proceed with the next one. We have credibility. Okay? So, very simple term. So, very self-explanatory. Dapat credible. No? Um, this is a very crucial uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Crucial aspect of any application. So even if people find the content they're looking for, if they don't trust you, that content is worthless. So your website could cause site visitors to be skeptical about your business in any of a number of ways, including whether or not you really exist, your reputation, or the quality of your content. No katuuhan ba na? Basin scammer na nga Ah, uh, system. Oh, sorry, guys. Na application. Okay. So it is very important that people know you. You are a real company with real people. 
offer a uh, clear about us. No, dapat nakay about us page. And uh, nakay mga different uh, together with your contact details and if possible a physical address. Kung asa gina makita, no? Kay pangit makayo kung nakay application niya. Um, wala siya, wala di ay siya ay, uh, physical office, no? Unsa ra man siya nagbuat buat ra kadara, then wala di wala gid ay tao gid, no? So naa da, na dapat place kung asa na siya. Okay, asa ay mong business. Dapat katuhan. So, of course, your content also plays an important role for the perceived trustworthiness of your site. Make sure you are honest and precise about your content. Avoid mistakes such as incorrect grammar or misspellings. Don't be modest about your expertise. If you are an expert in your field, make sure people know about it. So, for example, you can show third-party testimonials, work references, or the number of social media followers to win your visitors. So, para um, may balan gid ba? Makatrust gid ang taong gagamit ana ba? Because na ay mga different testimonials from other users nga in any lang experience while using this application. Okay? Pariyara gina sa mag-shop mo, di ba? Kung magpalit mo product, um, you take a look at the readings and then the testimonials. Para makatuo mong uh, legit, hindi siya fake. So, same as when doing or creating a system. Next is relevancy. Okay, relevancy. It's saka importante. Okay, this is the last but not least. Okay, relevancy contributes to a good website usability. So, it is not enough that your website is clear, your content but must also be relevant okay again it is essential that you know your users and why they visit your site start with defining who your users are okay dapat um you know your users before designing an application second talk to them to find out what their goals are when visiting your site okay and the third one Define user scenarios that demonstrate in which situation people visit your site to find what kind of content. So any design decisions that you make should result in a more user-friendly website for your users. Dapat na ay pulos. No? Kaya kung nag-visit lang o dara, tapos wala di gapoy pulos, wala gapoy na akong ipagita, then wala gapoy pulos ang imuang app, imuang application. Okay. So that's the last one. So in summary, good usability is not attained overnight. overnight. It takes um, days, it takes months, it takes years. Para ma process na sa no? It requires thorough user research and an iterative approach of constant testing and refining. So good usability depends on whether your website. Again, guys, it's not. It is not just for the website, but um, any applications, Android applications, iOS applications, etc. It's available, clear, readable, learnable, and relevant to the people who actually use it. Okay? So the reference, tanan, manang website. If you want to learn more, just visit the website or you can search on Google kung unsa pa other na mga things na wala na include rin. But um, these are the different, ano lang, uh, five key principles, na pinaka the best principles when you want to have a really usable na application okay so if you have any questions feel free to reach me out and keep safe again keep safe be mindful of our different protocols so stay at home always okay vaccine so i hope you guys are learning something no uh, from the previous chapter na to, I hope na gitanaw gito ninyo, gibutan nyo sa inyong utok kung medyo nakalearn mo. And then I hope that you are doing great sa inyo ang project na inyong ginabuhat. Okay? So thank you so much again. God bless you guys and have a great day.